Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a special video. This is a big time tool haul, Amazon tool haul from Amazon Japan. What is in the box? It is a bunch of hand tools from a Japanese tool manufacturer named Koken. Koken is, from my research and what I can tell, is basically the snap-on tool of Japan. Uh, Koken and KTC, which is Kyoto Tool Company, they're pretty much the two big Japanese tool manufacturers. Koken basically uh, is more oriented towards sockets and ratchets, and KTC uh, deals in wrenches and more other traditional um, hand tools. So today's unboxing and overview is going to be on this massive thousand dollar haul from Amazon Japan of all Koken hand tools. And we're going to take a look at everything I got after the unboxing and probably going to take a look at the um, product uh, item for item of Koken versus Snap-on. And I'm going to compare it to a couple Mac sockets because I don't have uh, Snap-on equivalents to everything I ordered from Koken. So with that said, let's go ahead and rip open this box and see what I bought. So this is actually my first purchase from Amazon Japan. Super simple to buy from Amazon Japan. This package shipped out of Tokyo on Friday the 27th. I received it in my hands in South Carolina on December 30th. That is fast. <laughs> that is almost prime from Japan to the US. No issues on shipping speed. Again, all items I ordered were in stock though. So if you have some that aren't in stock, it may take you know several weeks to a month. I've heard some people when buying from Amazon Japan. So all that out of the way, let's get into this sucker. What you clicked on to see, let's check out these Japanese tools. And this is exactly how it was packaged and I received it. Amazon box, sealed air packets, and here we go. Here is the big thousand dollar Gokan hand tool haul. And uh, I'll probably just go over real quick what I've got in the box. We'll pull it out of the box and then we'll go item for item, take a look at everything. And as I said, we'll do a quick side-by-side -side comparison to the Snap-on Mac equivalents. Later videos, I'll probably go through and do more in-depth comparisons, say the ratchets, the sockets, etc., head to head. And as I did with my icon tool videos, if any of you watched those, I substituted out of my personal toolbox and roll cart my snap-on tools and replaced them with icon tools and ran them for three, two and a half, three months to test them out day to day. I'm gonna be doing the same thing with this Koken stuff. I'm going to take my Snap-on Mac stuff out of my box and replace it with the equivalent Koken tools and we will see how they fare. I'm sure they're going to fare a lot better than those Harbor Freight icons. So that said, let's go on a quick rundown what I've got. I've got the Koken Z series. Uh, the Koken Z series is their higher end premium line of tools. This is the Z series or Z series or Zill series. There's several different ways they have, uh, I've seen it listed. This is a 3 8 inch ratchet with a comfort, comfort grip handle. Part number is 3725Z. We have a Z series quarter inch drive ratchet, comfort handle, standard length, and it is 2725Z. We have a set of Kokan uh, lug sockets Got a 17, a 19, and a 21. We'll go over that, the nice special features and benefits of these. Uh, part number on this set, 14201M. We have a set of Kokan. These are flare nut, flare nut socket wrenches. They're kind of like a crow foot built on a socket. Uh, these are used, I've got a 19 that I use on Cummins diesels and also for Hyundai direct inject uh, fuel lines. But they're great for that kind of stuff. Um, 
This set is an 8, 10, 12, 14, 17, 19. Kokan does do some skips in their socket sets. Not crazy about that, but being a Japanese tool manufacturer, most Japanese vehicles only have certain amount of fastener sizes like 8, 10, 12, 14, 17, 19, uh, 15 and 16 aren't really seen a lot. Seven's not seen a lot. 11's not seen a lot. So a lot of the sets don't have those sizes. But this is a part number RS3300FN6. I'll try to list in the description of the video all these individual tools with their part numbers. We've got the Kokan Z Series uh, ratchet spinner. This is the quarter drive 2756Z part number. We've got the 3 8 drive Z Series ratchet spinner 3765Z. We've got a 13 millimeter pipe plug socket. This is how I discovered Kokan. I was actually looking for a 13 millimeter pipe plug socket for Subaru differential drain plugs. Every US manufacturer snap on everyone else I could find only had them in standard sizes and a half inch drive. Well, being Japanese, the Subaru is actually a 13 mil, not a half inch. The half inch suffices if you use a half inch extension and ratchet but I really wanted to get the 13 mil to be, you know, more precise on what I'm actually supposed to use because especially with rusted Subarus, they do have the tendency to round out. So in my research, trying to find a 13 millimeter pipe plug, that's how I discovered Kokan and KTC and all the Japanese tool manufacturers and was opened up to a whole new world of professional tools. So the part number for this pipe plug socket is 4110M-13. Next, we have the Kokan Z-Series quarter-inch drive universal joint, part number 2771Z. We have the 3 8 version, 3771Z. We have the Kokan nut grip uh, quarter-inch swivel sockets. Got a 12 mil, a 14 mil, and a 10 mil. Part numbers 2441M-12-14-10 for the size. Another Subaru specialty tool. This one is actually listed by name in the Subaru factory service manual. It is a Kokan 3305M-27. It is a 12.27 millimeter 3 8 inch drive socket used for the pressure sensor on the side of the TR690 CVT transmission. I was working on one the other week and happened to see that Kokan was named, uh, that this socket was what Subaru wanted you to use on this sensor. So went ahead and ordered one while I was making my big order. Then we have the Kokan Z-Series spark plug socket in 16 millimeter, AKA 5 8 Part number is 3300CZ-16. Moving on from there, we've got some socket sets. We've got the Z-Series quarter-inch drive shallow and deep sockets. We've got the Z-Series 3-H drive quarter and deep sockets. And then we have the Kokan, uh, God, what did they call these? I think they called them spline. It wasn't spline drive. It was, um, I have to put it down here because I can't think. Um, but it's four rounded off fasteners and um, delicate fasteners with like chrome fascias and stuff. It's to take them off without damaging them. Uh, kind of an extractor socket, kind of not, but we'll take a look at it. So the quarter inch shallow sockets are RS2400MZ uh, forward slash 12. The 3 8 shallow is RS3400MZ forward slash 12. The deep well quarter inch RS2300MZ forward slash 12. The deep well 3 8 RS3300MZ forward slash 12. And those funky sockets I was just describing in a 3 8 drive RS. 3410M forward slash 12, and this set is an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 with no skips. Uh, the Z series sockets, 
The 3 8 set is a 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So they do skip the 9 millimeter in that set. Uh, same is in the shallows in the quarter inch set. We have a 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6, 7, 8, skips 9 again, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so no 15, and the shallow follows suit. Now that we've gone over all that, let's get it out of the box and get a closer look at this stuff. All right, guys, everything's out of the box and laid out here on the table. So what we're going to do now, I think, is go through and get everything out of the packaging, lay it all out, and take a better look at the stuff. Uh, we're not going to get in depth item for item, just a quick peek at everything and then uh, show it side by side with the equivalents from U.S. manufacturers Snap-on and Mac. All right, got everything out of the packaging where we can get a better look at it. Uh, starting over here, we've got the lug sockets. Uh, in my research on Japanese tools, I found that, I don't know if it's law or just the way they do things, but their impacts use a through-hole design on the anvil. You drop a dowel through that through hole and the socket, and then you normally put a rubber O-ring around it to hold that pin in place. Well, Koken has these little speed clips that they made that uh, replaces that O-ring and replaces that uh, through pin. So I'm fairly certain that these sockets will retain on a normal US hog ring, but um, yeah, the main thing I wanted these look like a torque stick in the middle. It's just color, cord, uh, color coding to make it easier to spot which one you need. But uh, they're a thin wall design. They have this plastic sleeve over them to keep from scratching the inside of wheels when removing the lug nuts, and which a lot of people have. But another thing they have is deep inside here, they actually have another um, nylon button that actually prevents the socket from scratching the cap of chrome uh, lug nut caps. Really neat little feature on these, and the price is not that expensive. As I talk about the tools, I'll try to have the price listed down here. Prices fluctuate on Amazon and all the time, so you know, if I tell you a price, it could be different. And the time I was doing my research on this stuff, I put a ton of stuff in my cart, and within the next week of going back and making sure I had everything, uh, the price on some stuff went up uh, quite a bit. The price on some stuff went down quite a bit as well. So uh, always check around. You know, if you've got any kind of um, browser add-ons, I don't know if it works for Jap uh, Amazon Japan like it does for U.S., but might be worth having it monitor uh, the price fluctuations to order at the best price. So got these looked at real quick. Going to test these later on to make sure they hold on the regular hog ring on a regular impact for the U.S. There is our 27 mil 3H 12 point. That is the sensor socket for pressure sensor on the CVT transmission. Here is the Z-Series spark plug socket. Really liking it so far. I've already taken this stuff out and taken a look at it and compared it to my U.S. tools. And one thing I liked about this socket is it's extremely thin. It has this chamfer here in the middle where it comes down even smaller. It has no magnet and no rubber like a traditional spark plug socket. The way that Kokan retains spark plugs in this socket is they have two spring clips on either side of the hex drive to grab onto the spark plug. They also have a brass insert that holds the porcelain of the spark plug, so it holds it very straight and very stable inside of the socket. Also, the spark plug goes far deeper into this socket than my snap-on socket, which I normally use, which is a snap-on. Um, it's uh, not the magnetic, it's not the rubber, it's the retention spark plug socket, part number S970 
6KRA, uh, but side by side, the Cocan is slightly shorter. And as I said before, the spark plug actually sits deeper in it and it's also thinner side to side. Real quick, I've got a brand new spark plug. I can show you this real quick. Here is spark plug inside of the snap-on socket. As you see, the tapered part of the spark plug seat and all the threads are exposed on it. Take it out and we'll put it in the Cocan Z series. And as you see, only the threads basically are protruding. So the spark plug does go deeper into the socket with the Cocan socket. So great little features. I'm gonna really like this. Uh, especially on Subarus where it's tight to get at the plugs and every inch you can save is uh, something greatly appreciated. So our Z-Series sockets, uh, something important to note about Cokin, I can't recall if it's only on the Z-Series or on all their sockets, but normally sockets, extensions, etc., have a dimple inside the well, I'll show you real quick. On the back side of the drive, this is a 3.8 snap-on socket, but normally what you have is you have inside on the four flats, you have a little dimpled area for the retention ball on the anvil of the ratchet to pop into to hold it in place. Well, Cocan has the patent, as far as I recall, on what they've done. Instead of having a circular little domed relief cut, they have a wedge shaped relief cut. So what this does is when you snap on the extension ratchet, etc., that wedge pulls the ball, uh, the detent ball in tight where the socket is way firmer on the anvil and has a lot less play. Real quick, let's demonstrate that. We will take a snap on quarter inch, just a T72. We'll take a deep well 10 mil socket. Snap that on there and you can see the wiggle and play in that socket on the drive. Now let's take a deep well 10 mil Cocan Z series and the Cocan Z series ratchet. I can't wiggle it on the drive, I'm wiggling the whole ratchet. It is really, really firm. Barely any slop or play at all. Really impressed by that. And you get a good, nice, positive click when you put the um, sockets onto the ratchet or extension. It's, uh, you know, it really gives you a feeling of quality when you pop them on there. I mean, I know my Snap-on stuff is older and gets used every day. So it doesn't quite have that snap to it. And I'm sure the Coke and stuff will lose its snap as it ages, but yeah, it's just really, really nice precision machining between those uh, drives and the anvil. Place where the Z-Series excels is in accessibility. If you take a look at the difference in the size, they're basically the same length to length. But if you look at the size of the head of the Snap-on compared to the Z-Series, you see it's a world of difference. The Snap-on is much larger than the Cocan Z-Series. So, and in side profile, it's not as noticeable in the 3.8s. Quarter drive is a mile's difference. So real quick, one more really neat thing about the Z-Series sockets are the rail they come with. It's an aluminum rail with magnets on the bottom, and it's got this nice felt here to prevent scratching whatever you put it on. Just thought that was a really nice uh, addition that you get the nice rails to go with your socket set. Talked enough about the ratchets for an overview. We've got the little ratchet spinners. Basically, you just pop these on, and then you put your socket on or extension. So if you're starting a bolt, you can real quick just turn your ratchet spinner to get it started before you go in with the ratchet and tighten down for your final torquing. So just a neat little accessory to help starting your fasteners or for loosening them when you get to the last few threads to take it out. So you got the 3 eighths and the quarter to go with the corresponding ratchets. 
Real quick, let's take a look at the Snap-on T72, which is an extremely compact quarter-inch drive compared to the Kokan Z-Series that makes it look like a big colossal monster, especially from the side profile. It's, it's, it's extremely noticeable. It gives you quite a bit of a difference there. Um, let's look at the quarter-inch Z-Series shallow sockets, which are extremely, extremely shallow but still have enough grab to securely hold a fastener's head. Great for tight access stuff and, uh, you know, just really well machined parts. So we'll see how they hold up and we'll see how they perform. Here's a quick look at the 13 millimeter pipe plug. It's a half inch drive, just regular industrial finish, no chrome, nothing special there. Uh, the flare nut, sockets. Here's a look at those. Like I said, it's basically a crow foot on a socket. You have this relief cut out here. So like I said, they normally use these for breaking loose fuel lines at the injectors or that high pressure fuel line I had on the Hyundai the other day. Uh, great for that. And your fuel line just comes out the thing. So something you don't use every day, but when you need it, it's great to have. Universal joints. These blew my mind. I've been thinking, wishing someone made something like this for many years. And actually when I was a Snap-on dealer at my first SFC, which is Snap-on's yearly uh, franchisee conference and giant tool show, they have an area where you can submit ideas for new tools. And I basically submitted this idea and I always wondered why I never heard back from anybody because I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> and apparently the reason I didn't hear back is because Cocan had the patent on this. So your traditional universal, as you know, is it looks like a universal in uh, your drivetrain of a pickup truck or so. You've got two yokes basically with a center U joint. Uh, if you use these, you know how aggravating they can be. If you don't have them perfectly on there, you get them in the wrong angle, they'll bind up on you and lock up, and you're stuck and you get frustrated and throw them down. Well, if you've got some swivel impact universals, or well, swivels, they technically call them something different, but you know, same thing. They usually are a ball design, which is much more free moving and less likely to bind, but they're much thicker and heavier than the chromes because they're impact rated. So Koken has combined the two. They have a chromed, extremely thin line, universal, that operates on a ball, well, not technically a ball. It's a ball hex, essentially, inside of a hex uh, housing with a snap ring holding it in place. So here is the Z-Series Kokan versus the Snap-on traditional universal joint. And I don't know if this is focusing, probably not. I'll switch to the macro lens to give you a closer look. And the 3H, which is a lot stubbier. And uh, no thicker. It's actually probably about the same diameter, if not a little bit smaller. So these are going to get used, I'm sure, a ton. So what have we not talked about? We've not talked about these little spline sockets yet. And I think that's basically it, other than these quarter-inch swivels. So here's the little splines. Again, uh, I don't think Kokan calls them splines. I think they call them something else. I'll have to put that in, in text form at the bottom of the video. But basically, it's kind of like an exaggerated version of Snap-on's flank drive or flank drive uh, extra, where it grabs, grabs on the flats of the fastener, not the corner, to prevent rounding the corners or hurting uh, delicate fasteners. So we'll be trying those out and see how they actually work. And last but not least is the 10, 12, and 14 mil quarter inch swivels, which they don't look much different than Snap-on Mac, whoever. And I'll grab a 10 real quick just to compare them. They're basically the exact same height. They're the same universal design, uh, no ball or anything in here, but these are nut grippers from Kokan. And what that is, is each one of these sockets has a small ring, uh, a small spring wrapped around the outside and opposing flats have a small detent ball. Well, what this allows you to do is grip the nut or fastener 
where it won't fall out. There's no magnets to attract debris and junk into. This lets them keep the socket no bigger. They don't have to make it bigger to accommodate a magnet. And it holds your fastener in place if you're trying to thread it into a blind hole or against gravity up or down. Uh, I thought it would be a great thing to get the 12, especially on Subarus for getting the rear power steering uh, pump bracket bolt started, 14s for the AC compressors, just a few things. So we put that in our 10 mil snap-on. Of course, it falls right out because there's no way to retain it. And uh, I bought the 10, 12, and 14 separately, and I feel kind of dumb for doing that now because after I purchased everything, I saw that they had the uh, 8, 10, 12, uh, 13, 14, I think was the actual set for like 20 bucks more. So I really wish I bought the entire set instead of the three individuals. That said, we're going to wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your views. Uh, be sure to leave a like, thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff if you enjoyed the content. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.